what's up what's good what's going on family so i took a couple of days off and now i'm back so i want to jump in and just see where sagittarius is at what energy are you currently facing and how we can break this down i hope that you guys have been in good health and in good spirits um, I hope that you guys have checked out all of the recordings that were released over the channel over the last three three days. Um, quite a bit of content out there uh, over the last three days. All right, Spirit. Let's see. Let's jump in. This is for the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective. Let's do an energetic check-in. Show me where Sagittarius is currently at. What are they facing and how can we help them navigate this situation, Spirit? All right, so straight out the gate, <laughs> just like that, where is where this needing to take a break? Your girl's nails are filthy. Today, I had a birthday party for my daughter, so just forgive all of that. We have take a break, Sag. It says a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So it's like you're going at something, you're going at something from the, from a hamster wheel perspective. Okay. You're see you're going at something. You're making Sag where we're at right now. And it seems like that something is be. You're you're making something more difficult than it actually. You're taking a harder approach to it. Thank you, Spirit. The approach that you're taking towards something is harder than you have to. Um, you're you're naturally doing it. Especially if you're feeling called to do it. You're naturally doing it. You don't have to try so hard. Unbound. Yes, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Um, so what I'm getting from this, Sagittarius, is... <laughs> you have helpers in the sort of realm. And that's why it's like you're already naturally doing something. That you're feeling like that you're having to... Let, let me break this down. Because... Let me break this down. I don't want to minimize the work that Sagittarius is putting in. But I definitely feel like that's something that you're working on comes to you naturally. But because of policies and procedures and rules and regulations, you're going, you're choosing a complicated approach to it. You're overthinking it. Keep facing your true north. See, thank you. I didn't even read the bottom of the you're already doing it card. It says... Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. You're doing something that is divinely aligned with you. And it comes with ease. But because now you're trying to get it organized and trying to possibly um, shoot it. Like you're trying to turn it into a way of living possibly. You're trying to... You're trying to mainstream it. Thank you, Spirit. You're trying to get it mainstreamed. You're overthinking the process. And by overthinking the process, you're coming out of your authenticity of doing it. Okay. Let's break this down and see how this is showing up. How is this showing up for my lovely Sagittarians? What is the opportunity inside of this situation? Let's hold my lovely Sag back, presenting a challenge. What is the way to address this challenge? What's on the other side? How is this showing up, Spirit? Thank you. Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is how it's showing up. The opportunity is the Sun card. The challenge with this situation is the Devil. The way through this challenge... The Seven of Cups, see all, see all of the options that are available and don't get stuck and hone in on one thing. What's on the other side? The Ten of Swords. How is that showing up? The King of Wands. You're showing up as a visionary. You have the vision, Sag. You, the Two of Cups. You have the vision. Oh. The Two of Cups with the Queen of Wands behind it. And you're showing up as the King of Wands. You're showing up as the King of Wands. 
the two of cups is behind it. You see in some sort of partnership in a Queen of Wands energy. Um, however, um, they this person could display this person could display or you could display some sort of closed off, detached I'm going to say it bitter energy because of a past experience or someone is feeling like that if they partner up that they lose a source of their independence how this is showing up is the five of pentacles someone could be coming in out of the code We haven't used this bad boy in a while. Look, that's the King of Swords. I've seen it. How this is showing up is the Five of Pentacles. So there's definitely, this could be a financial hardship. This could be feeling left out in the cold. How this is showing up is you definitely feel left out of a situation. You do not feel included. In a situation, the opportunity and how this is showing up is for you to shine. Shine your little light. So damn bright. The challenge here is the devil card. There's a lot of toxicities. There could even be some codependency. And for some of you all, Sagittarius, there's a codependence to a lack mentality. There's a codependence to feeling like, yo, I operate best when I'm by myself. Let's clarify. Definitely can't wait to clarify this Ten of Swords for what's on the other side. Because what I'm really getting, if you're able to utilize this advice and look at all of the options and not just fixate on one, then I feel like what's happening is that you're finally allowed to allow the swords to fall. You're allowed to actually, like you allow yourself to, to release the past and understand that the worst of the situation is over. What's the five of pentacles for how this is showing up? Why is this here, spirit? Oh. The nine of swords to the, yeah, to the six of swords. So there's a lot of fears and anxiety as it pertains to moving on to calmer waters. I feel like that you're facing a situation. You're, you're approaching it as a, on a hamster wheel. You're on a hamster wheel when it comes to this situation because you don't see the way forward. Any way that you, like each and every perspective that you are choosing to look at this, it just seems like it's going nowhere fast. And it just seems like it ends up leaving you or someone else out in the cold or in some sort of financial hardship. And that's the anxiety that is storming up. But what Spirit is ultimately trying to get you to see is that the true path forward is to be in flow state. Literally surrender the need to control this situation and just be in flow state. What I love about the original, uh, the, the right away with the six of swords is that the mother and the child or the, this feminine energy here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it feminine energy, and the child is not rowing the boat. We can't assume that this is the spouse or the father of this family. We can assume that. But most importantly, this the six of swords is about your spirit guides navigating you towards calmer waters and with the hangman here that's what i'm leading towards because the hangman is the universe putting you in a temporary time out so that you can surrender things that are inadvertently making it hard there for you to go upstream so you're, you're being told to surrender control and allow the your intuition your spirit guides your divine to navigate you at this time because the way that you're navigating this situation is like it, it it appears to me like it's keeping you bound and restricted and making it difficult for you Sag and it's and I feel like that it's because of this energy of feeling like you are missing opportunities or feeling like you always miss opportunities so when you're not in the driver's seat 
you miss opportunities. That's how I feel like you're looking at certain situations. But Spirit is actually saying that the opportunity here is for some things to be illuminated, for some things to be exposed, to come to light about your true authenticity, okay? All right, Spirit, let's see. What is the opportunity? Let's look at the Sun card here for the opportunity. I don't have any court cards here except for the king of wands so if i'm being honest with you sagittarius i don't really feel like that this is i feel like that it this is keeping you from integrating in another with another energy but i do not feel like that this reading is about another energy but spirit we still got some clarifying to do spirit can show me differently but i really do feel like that this is what you're facing that is making it hard for you to partner up or something like that. All right, Spirit. Show me the opportunity here. The Sun card. Yes, this is all about Sag. Yes, you're trying to be given an opportunity for your little light to shine so damn bright. Because it's almost the way that you go about controlling things that dims your own light. So Spirit is like, here, Sag. Let up off this gas pedal a little bit. Let me show you what your light really can do. The opportunity here is for you to see so clearly that there's no mistake in for you to see so clearly that no one can tell you anything ever again to make you question the way that you see yourself or to make you question what it is that you're bringing to the table to make you question your abilities. Baby. And yes, it's because you're headed towards love. I'm telling you, this reading is about Sagittarius. This reading is about Sagittarius. This reading is without integrating this reading. It is what is stopping the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective from properly integrating inside of partnerships. You're longing for a partnership. You have a vision of a partnership, but there's a sense of bitterness and aloofness, emotionally detachment that is not allowing you to fully integrate into the partnership that you're almost is showing to me like you're actually trying to manifest in. You're, the divine is trying to gift you this. This could be with the Leo, doesn't necessarily have to be. The challenge here is the devil. Why is the challenge the devil spirit? The king of swords. The very thing back here that makes me feel like that. You have to reclaim your power from this Aquarian energy. Okay. And when I say Aquarian energy, I'm not necessarily saying an Aquarius. It could be, you could, the challenge could be is that you're karmically chained and attached to an, a, like an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay. And it could, it could say that this Aquarius and or Capricorn has jilted the way that you're looking at relationships. Okay. But for healing purpose, for Moving forward, part, elevation purposes. What this is saying is that you're giving your power away to the pains and the lessons of the past from past people. You're, you're. It's. I, I, I'm going to say, but don't take it so personal. I feel like that you're subconsciously projecting onto these situations in your present moment because of how hurt you have been. Because you've been left out in the cold. Because you've been abandoned. Because your light, you've had to dim your light in order to be accepted. So because you've had to dim your light to be accepted. Now it's almost to the point where it's like. Let me give you an example. I had some truth. Confirmation. I had some truth that needed to be spoken over the over my break. I took a break because it was my daughter's birthday. I had some truth to be spoken. But I didn't feel like it was appropriate to speak that truth because it's my daughter's birthday. But someone that is near and dear to my daughter's heart was very intoxicated at her birthday party. And belligerently, like disrespectfully. And that I had to really determine 
How do you speak your truth without allowing, well, me, we call it little Kiki, without allowing little Kiki to precede your knowledge, your growth, and your healing? And that was a struggle for me, okay, because I haven't fully reclaimed my power from the perception that little Kiki gains, okay? Hear me out. Did you just hear me? When little Kiki is on display, the way that people look and perceive me makes it I don't I don't like being perceived. The way that little Kiki gets me perceived, it gets me perceived as very irate, very belig like not belligerent because I wasn't drinking, but it just it gets me perceived as drama okay not knowing how to handle myself but i know that i'm better than that but when the opportunity came on to display to actually speak my truth i struggled because this situation was calling little kiki and kiana was like okay we have to figure out how to tone this that's the challenge you're still close you're still karmically attached to the residual feelings of a past situation it keeps you chained and bound to it okay and it, it and it causes you uh to almost like yeah A lot of swords here. I just wanted to clarify. I mean, even the outcome is the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of swords here. So this is definitely a mental thing. This is definitely something that if I speak my truth, if I say my truth, then I'm going to get left out in the code or I'm going to be attached to a stigma or no one's going to have my back or, you know, everybody sits and, and waits quietly until I show up and until I say say something and then it's either after I've said my truth then they either want to have my back or they turn against me depending on what the other people around are saying you know what I'm saying so there's something like that but the truth of the matter is is to understand that what you're being exalted from like you're being the opportunity is to be seen to speak your truth that is in the eyes of the divine, not the 3D world. So I do see with the Ten of Pentacles here, this could affect you in a, like a family sense or it could affect you in like a financial sense. You could be afraid to um, speak your truth and shine because if I speak my truth, then I'm going to lose some money or I'm going to lose some clients or I won't qualify or I won't get that promotion. There's something like that unbind yourself from these 3d expectations the opportunity here is the seven of cups why is the seven of cups here in the advice position damn baby <laughs> baby are you gonna have to fight for it yes are you are like you gonna have to drop this this is what is consciously preventing you from seeing the choices and the options for a brand new beginning. Okay. You're allowing the perception of your, I'm not saying that Sagittarius should care what people think about you. That's not what I'm saying. But you yeah, might. Okay. But here's what I'm saying. The way that a past situation played out and caused so much pain and you took so much loss when you look back on that situation, you can say, yo, I did this and I shouldn't have done that or I overreacted here and I shouldn't have done this and this is that and this is that. And so what you're doing is you're taking that and you're you're saying that if you wouldn't have done that, then you wouldn't have took this loss. If you wouldn't have done that, then this wouldn't have happened. If you wouldn't have done that, then this wouldn't have happened. And while that may be true, so is this. This and that are both true. What is also true is that if you hadn't have showed up that way, then you wouldn't have been able to understand what it felt like and what it meant to speak your truth. Are you meant to learn that there's a better way 
to show your light? Yes, you are. But you're not supposed to dim your light as a way to be perceived as I want to say heal, healing, but I don't necessarily feel like it's that. I feel like that I'm speaking to someone that is like, yeah, but if I speak my truth and it's perceived this way, then it doesn't seem like I'm making any progress. I'm, the progress is all sh it's shot to hell. That's not true. You have to be willing to look at all of the choices, all of the options, and you have to get clear about what it is that you're looking for in your new beginning and only choose choices that are aligned to this new beginning. I do want you to know, I do want you to know Sagittarius, the more and more I clarify, what's on the other side is there is a king of, a king of swords or Capricorn. King of swords is Aquarius, Capricornian energy. It is out here to clarify this a devil card, okay? So there could be Someone that is attached to a Saturnian lesson that is being left behind. And that may be painful for you. That may be painful for you. And that may keep you from seeing the truth of your new beginning. Because this person doesn't appear to be able to come forward with you. Because before we even pull the King of Swords, we got the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. What is that, Kiki? That's the Ten of Swords. Which we're about to clarify now. For the outcome. What is the Ten of Swords for what's on the other side? Why is the Ten of Swords here for what's on the other side? I could be speaking to someone that has um, an Aquarius moon, a Capricorn moon. Let's see. Spirit, why is the Ten of Swords here for what's on the other side? It's like you have a vision that you're hell bent on. I do. I feel like that you have a vision of this person being this 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 devil King of Swords energy being your match, your particular person. You're holding on tight to that because that's what your vision is. So there could be a, a need to change the way that your vision is, and you're you're really not really open to it as much as you think you are because it would then make you face the five of pentacles energy and that brings about some anxiety here what's the ten of swords here y'all if at any point in time you are resonating through this uh, reading i would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below it does help circulate these messages into the youtube algorithm so the Queen of Wands is what hit the floor, but what's out here is the Nine of Wands, the Justice, and the Queen of Wands. So what this is telling me here, to clarify the Ten of Swords, I do. The Nine of Wands is resilient. This is pushing forward. This is this is the Wounded Warrior, so this is about your resilient energy. Is something coming to an end, Sag? I, it looks like it to me. But it is inadvertently your Karmic Justice. And it absolutely helps you reestablish your confidence, okay? I do like the fact, I feel like that someone trying to betray you is what is coming to light here. I do feel like that someone's true, authentic nature is coming to light. And I do feel like that you've possibly been looking at this person through rose-colored glasses. Or you've been looking at this person through the perspective of trying to keep the peace, and it's like seeing it now to keep the peace in this, like to keep the peace in this situation is keeping you on a hamster wheel and inadvertently creating chaos internally. And spirit is saying, I can't illuminate your light while you stay in this situation that creates internal conflict inside of you. So if you would surrender, release your grips on this karmatic energy so that I can exalt you and I can restore what it is that you're seeking. That's the message that I'm getting here. But it does require Sagittarius to accept an ending. And it's faded. If you want wish fulfillment. It's faded. If you want your wish fulfillment. Okay. I do feel like that you must set yourself free. 
this is I am going to say that what I'm picking up on is a self-imposed imprisonment because of what you feel like will be perceived or what you feel like the domino effect will be if you face your true north. The King of Wands. Why is the King of... Show me Sagittarius is showing up as the King of Wands. Can you please give me some more insight, Spirit? Ten of Wands. Three of Wands. It's like... Whatever it is that you're envisioning, you feel like that without this person, it becomes like what you're envisioning, what you're dreaming. The King of Wands is a visionary. He is a damn good leader. He knows how to bring his vision into fruition because he's very good at delegating roles. Okay. And I feel like that you, you and your opinion are seeing this person as the best candidate to help you carry out your vision. And because of that, there could be some sort of rose colored glasses in the way that you're looking at this situation. So spirit is saying without this person, it appears to me that Sagittarius is like, oh my gosh, if I don't have this person with me, then what is coming in is getting ready to be so fucking difficult. And I'm not sure that I can be the one to handle it. And spirit is saying that's not true. The only way, the reason that you're seeing it from this way is because you're overthinking it and not a, and not surrendering control of the situation. Now, I don't have reversals in neither one of these decks. The King of Wands, when he's low vibrating, he's a poor leader because he doesn't delegate the roles properly. And I'm just going to tell you, Sag, for real, for real, you're supposed to be sitting back and receiving. This is coming in. Like, the burdens that you feel on your shoulder, there's something that is coming in to help you carry out your vision. But it cannot dock while this King of Swords devil card is here in your pathway. There's no room. You have to make room for this manifestation to dock. <coughs> you have to make room, Sag. You have to make room. Okay, so I do have very little major arcanas on the board, but I do have Leo, Capricorn, and Libra, and Aquarius. Excuse me, in court cards, I have Aquarius, Capricorn, strong Aquarius, Capricorn, I have the major arcanas for both. I have Leo, Cancer, and I also have Pisces, Aries, okay? Just had a card fall back and y'all know I want to see that. The Eight of Pentacles. So this could have to do with work. Your craftsmanship. Which would make sense because I don't see any cups here. I don't see much water at all here. I don't have any cups. Alright, give me a clarifying light. Oh, Spirit said give you what? I'm going to look at everything. Everything came out in the challenging position. So Spirit is telling me to turn it all clockwise. Everything that's face up. Turning everything clockwise. And I have two on the table that are face down. We're going to address those. I have five on the floor. I have five on the floor. When I pick that up, if it's five, we'll read it all. We have almost there. Persist with faith. For you are on the brink of a breakthrough. Your efforts are about to bear fruit. Winds of fortune. Allow the winds of fortune to guide your sails. I'm telling you, that's a, this is giving Six of Swords energy. Maneuvering through life's opportunities and challenges with adaptability. More adventure. Embrace the unknown with curiosity. Letting each journey shape your path in wisdom. Just go with it. Embrace spontaneity and trust the journey, remaining open to unexpected twists and turns along the way. These two, 
Embrace courage. That's that strength card that keeps trying to show up, but it can't show up because you're not because there's a resistance to allowing. Okay. If you if you surrender control and you embrace allowing, I do feel like that you'll get a confidence boost. It says open your mind and learn from experiences and let answers answers unfold in your journey. And then we have transform and rise. Your journey of transformation unlocks vast potential, guiding your evolution to new heights. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Your girl cannot pass up a five at all. Seize every minute. See, good morning. Um, embrace each moment with purpose. For time is a precious gift on your journey of self-discovery. Magic opportunities. Embrace the unexpected. Seize the chance for transformation. Heart's desire. Sing along to your heart's song for it knows what you truly want. Sing along with your heart's song for it knows what you truly want. Divinely guided. Trust the wisdom of the universe. And remain open to receive guidance as you journey through life's mysteries. Desert of isolation. Transverse the desol desolate space of solitude to uncover reflections in resilient survival. Transverse the desolate space of solitude to uncover reflections in resilient survival. I hope that this message offers you some guidance on your journey, Sagittarius. If you have resonated with this message and would like to see, see more of these come, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Peace, love, and light.